That was a really good first half. Really, really, really special basketball. Um, we played fast, we shot it, we spread it, uh, executed, uh, got after them really hard. Um, you know, and, and just didn't just just didn't give a chance, suffocated them. And just didn't give didn't give a good team a chance. Now, if you let a team like Colgate with all that experience and the shot makers hang around, look, they outplayed us in the second half. We were still playing hard and we were still trying. We got out, we got played. So if you didn't if we didn't come out with that kind of twenty minutes of effort and energy and shooting and and and, 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 and how we were we were flying around. You know, it could be could have been a different story. We just didn't give them that opportunity. So, uh, I want to give my my uh, strength coach Damon Davis, his assistant Josh, uh, just a shout out in the sense that five games in 13 days is a lot. I can tell you just from a standpoint of our workload and the preparation, we take them all real seriously. So, I can tell you it was it's been a long weekend as far as getting ready for Colgate. Um, but to be able to finish this, these first five games in the position that we're in and to have seen us get better, we have gotten better, uh, is, is very encouraging. You know, Samir Dowdy played with great confidence and real swag. And um, you know, Austin Wise, while it was physically you know, more and more dominant, you could see him getting back into it. Dan Gill shot it really well and you know, had a good feel to him. You know, Isaac just continues to be Isaac. You know, Javon is the fastest guy out there on the floor. Can't stand in front of him. His passing, eight assists, two turn was really good. Um, so, and then our bench got some experience. Um, our bench needs to play better um, in order for us to continue to grow. Um, we've got to be more physical. Um, got to be more physical, um, especially with this 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 group this this group next week playing in, uh, against Richmond and Wisconsin and New Mexico. I want to thank the students for coming out. The students were great tonight. Really carried, carried the crowd. Um, we only play in Auburn Arena one more time during the, this semester, and that's a, I think a December fifth game against Furman. Um, so it'll be the last time our students can see us before break, um, because we'll go to New York, um, and then um, we've got some other things on the schedule. Um, we, we do want to start talking about the Mike's Live Invitational in Birmingham um, as it relates to an opportunity to see our basketball team play for our fans in the state of Alabama. It's probably the best chance for fans that have never been to an Auburn basketball game to see us live and in person against St. Louis U. Um, there are lots of tickets still available up in Birmingham. St. Louis is a really good, really good opponent. And so, um, I just, a great, a great Christmas gift. People that are getting ready for Thanksgiving, think about that all across the state. Um, because it's hard to come see us play in Auburn Arena because the tickets are sold. Bruce, can you talk about the ball movement in the first like 20 minutes of the game? I thought the ball movement was great. The spacing was great. Um, the understanding was really good. Timing was good. The guys were having fun. You know, making good reads. Um, it, was, it was outstanding 20 minutes. Colgate shoots about as many threes as anybody in the country, and you guys held five of 24 tonight. Uh, how impressed were you with your defense effort in that area? Yeah, um, you know, we got after them a little bit, and we make them work so hard with the pressure and, 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 and ro ro rotate fresh bodies at them. Um, you can see how dangerous they are shooting a basketball in the first portion of that second half. That's how they play. So obviously we recognized they were better from a three than two and our ball pressure was good. And so from, from that standpoint, it was, it was a good matchup for us. Have you been able to speak with Marquise? Is any, any update? I spoke with Marquise um, yesterday. Um, he, he, uh, he had his surgery was successful today and I'm going up there and visiting him tomorrow. So he's on the road to recovery. Do you know how long he's going to be in the hospital or anything yet? No. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it.